Welcome back to the Lego Man Cave. Not only in the last video did I show you the new park, I forgot to show you my new bike shop as well. But also, I have seen the new X Mansion. 48 studs by 32 studs means I can find a place for it. So I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. Also decided what I want to put here. And I'll show you the uh, bike. But we're going to have a quick catch up and then I'll fill you in on the Lego City. So we'll start with the park. Obviously, I've had a few ideas of how to improve it. It's not too bad, but I can add a bit more. So I'm going to try and do that in this video. Add a couple of bits, might take a couple of trees away. I want to try and do something with that area as well. Finally got the part, or at least some parts, to try and do or start my second layer of the Asda shop. I am thinking this area might end up getting retired and moved out. Because if, it, if this new X mansion is a 48 by a 32, that is a 48 by 48 plate and so is that. So I'm thinking maybe they will be moved back possibly or I might try and jiggle some stuff around. But either way, my X mansion I'm thinking is going to go in this corner and lead out. So that I am excited for. I've also got that area I could either change up or I can replace. I don't know. What do you think of my new canvas? That looks absolutely epic. AliExpress. No, Timu. Sorry, that was a Timu boy. Uh, also, for this area, I've seen about three YouTubers with it, Brixie being one of them. I like to have a couple of towers here eventually. This one here, I'm thinking, can be like one of those hotels where it's just basically a 16 by 16 and each one it goes up, it rotates. So it's like crooked kind of thing. So I'm thinking that might be an idea for there. I'll get over to that bit eventually. The good thing about that is I can use a mix of parts because it hasn't got to be perfect. It hasn't got to be like a standard modular or muck or whatever you want to call it it can be multicolored. it can stand out it hasn't got to be uniform shall we call it so with all the odd bits and bobs i've got i might actually be able to get a few levels at least done might be worth an idea plus i've got a plenty of windows that i can try and use as well also i've managed to find my gopro the battery life on it is not brilliant but I've managed to get a clip of my train running through the city so you get it from the train's perspective so I'll show you that Also got all this over here I need to sort out and put it away. I've also stripped the hanger for, that I had up there with the Quinjet in. So that's freed up quite a few 16 by 8 plates, which you will see there. There's a load of those, so that will help me with that building. I've got some 16 by 16 squares on the way as well. Also got that Technics drawer I need to sort out. I've got that drawer which is full of non-Lego bits. So I've got a lot of tidying up to do because once they're all tidied up and put back into my inventory, it means I know what I've got to work and play with. I've got a few more bits down here I need to decide what I'm going to build. I've had the idea of moving this over here just so it kind of fills that gap up a bit. But that's just placed at the moment. It's not set. So it lifts up. But I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with that area yet. But I just don't want it looking really flat and boring. Plus, obviously, I've got the train station there. I still want to be able to see the train station, even if it's not going to be a proper functional use. Beach house, I've moved to there for now. I might have to sort out all these figures again get rid of the display stands because 
I want to try and use the shelving for my planes maybe or I want to try and be able to have some sort of storage or display area should I say but with all that so obviously my robots can stay because they're a display but my minifigures I'm thinking I might bust them out put them back into the collection or find somewhere else for them and then I can move the planes up to there and then if I've got anything else that I want to put on display at least I'll have the room to do so because the planes are just too big and too many to fit into there and that shelf is already full also you may have noticed since the last video not only have I finally had a shave I've actually got my microphone working I finally figured out how the thing works so yeah that is the plan for today we're going to add some more bits to the park try and sort out that area in the corner where it's white and try and plan out what we want to put here now i'm going to show you my bike shop okay so while we're in smiths we've had a look at all the sets you can see here we've got a load of ninjago uh we've got some batman absolutely awesome sets i love the uh, batmobiles not really a ninjago fan myself got some wicked jurassic park sets that marvel hulkbuster that i want some robots i've already got absolutely loving it i've got that groot and rocket the milano i've already got the smaller one also got the dancing group which is on my collection a few more marvel sets the leviathan which i got with the avengers tower we got some extra bits like uh, the camera the plants the cars you know the articulture or whatever it's called not really my thing i love the speed champs but again not really my collection then we got the technics the massive tumbler the ghostbusters ecto car we got some castles oh we got the museum that's in my list to get daily bugle i've already got look uh, harry was loving the uh, spaceship uh, what else have we got? Yeah, Harry's having a lovely look around all the Star Wars. Again, I've got a few bits of Star Wars, but it's not really in my collection. It's all stored away. There is some really cool Star Wars stuff. I mean, I've got a collection of mechs, but it's only the Marvel mechs, not the uh, Star Wars ones. Got the heads as well, the uh, UCS figures, really cool. Mario's. All the Minecraft. I've got a load of Minecraft stuff already, but Loki won't don't want it, so I might end up having to either part it into my collection or sell it for extra money towards his Fortnite uh, collections that he wants. Because he wants to get the, uh, the, car, uh, the Battle Bus and Peely Bone. Home Alone set is another one I'd love to get eventually, but it might be a bit big for my city. More Harry Potter, again, not really my collection. I've got the dragon, but that was gifted to me. There are some really cool sets in the Harry Potter, but the thing is, I look through all these, and I look Lego City stuff mainly. I'm like, well, what can I put into my city? That train, I would love to have. The camper van I've got. The bus I've got, I mean, these trains, absolutely wicked. I've got a fire station, so I don't really need another. Then we come over to Duplo and Creator and the plants, the random classics, the silly heads, the smaller three-in-one sets. There are some absolutely epic sets out there, and I wouldn't mind having some. I mean, they even got Despicable Me as well now. The up house we've already got in Lisa's cabinet. The coffee shop, but I've already got a couple of those already. I love that massive friend's tower house. And there is just so much. Here's my beautiful turtles. All wanting some attention. Hoplos, Crebensis, Macoris. There's another turtle. Oh, my ghost knife's coming out to say hello. And he's just gone back in again. But these guys are such attention seekers. I love them to pieces. I could not get rid of them. Still got my Lego fish tank up here as well. 
not really added anything else to that yet because I haven't had anything else to add. So this is the bike shop from the front. I've added a bike so you can actually see that it is a bike shop, but I haven't added any other signs. I've got the arched windows or arched bricks, should I say, over the top, just so it gives it a bit of depth or it gives it a bit of difference compared to all the other shops. And now I'll open it up and show you what's inside. So like everything else I build, I've done it to the modular scale. The top floor, I've put skateboards on the walls. I think I've still got some extras, but there's a few skateboards in the park already, so that's minor. But we've got some skateboards on the walls. I've just got to decide what to put in the middle. And then on the ground floor, we've got all different kinds of helmets that they can buy and backpacks or neckwear. We've got obviously a bike for sale i've only got two bikes that one and the one that's in the window just need to decide what i'm going to put in there but that is another building added whoops push it there but that is another building added to the city so what I'm thinking is I've watched Brixie's uh, video on the X Mansion and it actually comes on three 16 by 32 uh, plates. So it might work. I can have them in sections because it doesn't, it's not a 48 by 48, it's a 48 by 32. So that will take up all of the beach and a section of the water and then i'll have to figure out how i'm going to fill the rest but still this is looking absolutely mint all the vehicles around the trains operational still want to update my train for a better one but that is right at the bottom of my list the fact that this footage actually worked of the gopro on top of the train that was brilliant okay so the first stage is done that's been emptied out and all the aircrafts have been placed up on the top shelf out the way for now not the perfect display i've left those up there as well all the metal rackings have been taken down all the figures emptied out into the tub to be sorted but i've not long sorted out the marvel figures so We'll have to see what I do with those. Next job, sort out all the loose bits. Slowly but surely, I'm getting down the sorting process. I am now working on this tub. All the other ones have been done. So let's just keep on going. The tub is empty. Now all these bits have got to be sorted. So twos and ones in the back drawer. That's all in the back drawer. That's all the bricks that's got to be sorted by colour. Uh, plates, one by. Plates, two by, and odd shapes. All the slopes. Everything that is in those drawers. That is all the mill stuff. All the bricks. And all the miscellaneous stuff, which goes all around here and in there. And that's all that remains now. As I said, this is what's got to go across all of here. Lots and lots of little pieces. But we're definitely getting there. Okay, so now that I've got most of that tidied up, I've still got that one, which way can I twist? That one tray. And I've still got the connect drawer, which is there, which I've got to sort out, which, oh, tech, not connect, uh, techniques. So I'll get to that eventually. But you may notice I've got some exposed brick, shall we say, or untiled stuff. And yeah, you'll have to excuse the hair. Looks all right, mess. But it's getting there. It's growing slowly but surely. But the main point... I've started this so I'm just playing with it at the moment but we have got every different color twisting all the way up 
I've still got to do a ground floor with obviously a door and I want to try and bring it up another one or two maybe but that don't look too bad I've never done anything like it before so it's interesting see how it turns out right that's all I've got for you for now so that's where we're at oh and I've got to do a roof as well obviously but thank you all for coming back and joining me in the Lego man cave again I was supposed to finish adding some more bits to that but everything else has just taken so much longer but by the next video there will be a little bit more done to the park and the back area as well and by any chance there might be some more done to that as well got a few more parts on their way fingers crossed they show up loads of tile and stuff like that as long with uh, I think there's some more bricks but we'll soon find out when it all shows up thank you all for watching make sure you like subscribe hit the bell drop a comment down below and also share thank you all very much bye bye